Hello and welcome again to RC Model Reviews. We're doing outside this time. What I want to show you are these new key fob cameras that uh, are all the rage at the moment. Now, uh, I've just stuck one on the side of this Katana EP, which is a Dynam model. And this is the model I mentioned in my last video that I really didn't like. Um, so what I've done is I've stuck a key fob camera on here. I'm going to give it a little fly and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, now that's the test flight. Um, we should have some video on board. And you'll notice that what I've done is I take the little key fob camera and I hook it on with a bit of Velcro. Just stick a bit of Velcro on the side of the model wherever you want it. I'll put it on here. And I've also got a piece underneath I can use. Um, and then you can just take it off and put it on because they have a, US, a mini USB connector which you must use to connect it up to your computer and download the video or just transfer the video file off the key fob. Um, I'm going to go and do that now, but I put this on my DLG earlier, my Discus hand watch glider, and I'll, I hope I got some footage out of there as well. Now, these are about 15 bucks US, I think. If you uh, go on eBay, you'll find them. There's various sites out of Hong Kong sell them. Uh, there are good ones and there are bad ones. I think this is a not so good one. This is from Hobby King. And as you'll see in the video, it loses quite a few frames, which is unfortunate because it makes an otherwise enjoyable video quite stuttery and jerky. You can improve them somewhat with a better memory card, although this says it's a SanDisk card, which is supposed to be fairly good. And uh, you need at least a class four card for these. So that's a little bit of an upgrade you might need to do if they don't work too well. But I'll link to a website from the RC Model Reviews 
page review page on this and on that website there is a wealth of information there's just so much stuff about these little key fob cameras and there's about five or six different versions of them they all look the same from the outside but inside they have different guts so depending on which one you get um, it'll either work straight out of the box or you may have to do some work to make it go uh, I'll link to that page because it's a worthwhile resource in the meantime these are just the bees knees especially if you get a good one for sticking on your model and getting some aerial shots from anywhere there are still camera and a video but of course you can't press the button from the ground so most people will use them as a video and they're quite a nice little uh, supplement to FPV because sometimes when you're flying FPV you'll get a bit of noise a bit of break up on the video picture stick one of these on your plane as well when it comes down you can then just basically put that on your computer and there's a full noise-free picture of your flight from the pilot's view so that's it for this review thank you for watching rcmodelreviews.com subscribe donate all the usual stuff you know what to do uh, go to the website have a look around lots of stuff there more stuff coming up very shortly including the fpv stuff from highmodel.com